As I was growing into adulthood, like so many other young men, I dated. My father was in the U.S. Foreign Service, and I grew up living in other cultures. And for a time, I dated a young woman from Belgium, whose native language was French. We seemed to get along well, and spent much of our time together comparing national traits and habits. She was an excellent cook, and loved to make meals in the French tradition, which I did not mind at all. One time, she made me the quintessential classic French dish, coq au vin. This is a delicious affair, in which you pour an entire bottle of red wine over a chicken, add a few vegetables, some all-important herbs and spices, and bake it. The wine turns into a rich melt-in-your-mouth sauce. The chicken has been tenderized by the alcohol, and the whole thing, when prepared by a skillful cook, which she was, can taste out of this world. On the evening of our meal, the anticipation was great. The ambiance in the decorated and dimly lit room was romantic, and expectations were high. I remember. As I began to taste and savor this meal, that the sauce was simply exquisite. But when I tried to cut into the meat, it was so tough; <laughs> it was unpalatable. My Belgian friend was horrified and apologetic. I was embarrassed because I had taken her to buy the chicken at the same grocery store where I had bought my food without problems for years. And the whole evening, so promising, turned into culinary disappointment. Had either of us known, even though we were wide awake and going about the business of our lives, that we were in the middle of a dream, we could have saved ourselves a lot of subsequent hardship. The meal that I have just described, with the exquisite sauce and the tough meat. Is what most people refer to as an omen or a sign, an event of unusual nature that tries to deliver a message. This kind of occurrence didn't only happen back in the days of the Roman Empire, with soothsayers interpreting the entrails of sheep. These kinds of events go on as readily today as they always have. In fact, I'm going to argue this afternoon that we are constantly. Constantly <laughs> being presented with omens in our waking lives, and that they are no different in character, purpose, or effect than the dreams we have at night while we are asleep. I call omens waking dreams because they are like dreams, and they happen while we are wide awake. Further. I have found that an excellent way to reveal the messages they contain is to treat them exactly the same as if they were sleeping dreams, the more traditional kind of dream that we have when we are in a state of deep slumber. We know that dreams can offer insights into our states of consciousness, often delivering a message that suggests to us a shift in attitude or a beneficial course correction. The same is true of omens. Waking dreams. However, what makes omens so unreliable as tools for personal growth is that individuals, in general, don't know what to do with them when these unusual occurrences come into their lives. People are often good at recognizing them, but then what? It's the interpretation of these events that causes the problem. Some people take delight in recognizing such unusual happenings, but then. Just as delightedly go on their merry way and ignore them. At the other extreme, there are those who jump to wild conclusions. That leaves the rest of us, who for the most part are quietly perplexed by such incidents. Whenever I facilitate dream work, whether sleeping or waking dreams, I try to follow two important principles in regard to dream interpretation. The first principle: 
It has been my observation that dreams speak in a universal language, the language of metaphor. Take the most bizarre and disjointed set of events in the plot of a dream, isolate the symbols, and interpret them as metaphors, and suddenly the elusive, nonsensical nature of the dream evolves into a clear message. Second principle. Dreams, no matter what their subject and message might be, are always about the dreamer. In more than 35 years of working with dreams, I have never known of an exception to that. 